Yo, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, then let me introduce myself first. I'm Gabriel Manuel and I make videos about personal growth, finance, investing, and crypto. I also upload university vlogs and other videos na sa tingin ko ay makakatulong or matutuwa kayo. Alright, interesting enough? Then feel free to like my video, click that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you to stay updated. Alright, let's begin. So in today's video, I am going to react to this streamer from Twitch na kung saan nagla-live siya while tinitingnan ang performance ng Squid Game token na Squid. So yes, so yeah, ang daming views na ito. Tapos nag-trending din ito sa maraming investment group sa Facebook. Tsaka na-trend din ito sa Twitter. So na-intrigue ako kaya i-watch natin. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't know if copyrighted to yung gamit niya ng music, guys. So, hindi baka maka-copyright tayo nito para. Anyway, anyway, for you guys, wala lang maka-copyright tayo. <laughs> Let's begin. So, the market cap is 2.168 trillion Holy shit. dollars. Holy shit. Ang laki na, ang laki na. Imagine you know, trillion din yung Bitcoin. Tapos yung Dogecoin, di pa yan nag-trillion yung Dogecoin. Yung Shiba, di pa nag-trillion. Yung XRP, di pa nag-trillion. Pero tingnan yung market cap ng Squid. I don't know this kasi personally, hindi ako nag-invest sa Squid na token. But, um, ganun kalaki na market cap. Oh my gosh, ang laki na pare. And now the market... Oh! Holy shit. Holy shit. Imagine niyo, imagine niyo. Wait, balik tayo dito ah. 68 trillion 2.2 trillion dollars, guys. My gosh. 2.2 trillion dollars talaga na pare. Tapos dollars. <laughs> oh my god, why am I What the hell am I laughing in the first place? Oh shit. Imagine niyo. As you can see, Si kasi tingnan niyo yung candlestick dito, tingnan niyo yung candlestick dito. At ito yung ito yung price niya dati. Like alam ko na 0.01 to something yung price dito. Tapos pagdating dito naging 3 dollars na siya something. Tapos pumalo pa to nag all-time high to ng 2.8 yata, 2. Point, no, 2,800 dollars. So imagine niyo guys kung ilan yung fold niya within a couple of hours lang, a couple of days lang, rather, like, kung nag-invest kayo ng piso dito, here, after one day, after, after one day, after one day, yung piso nyo, pwede nang aabot ng million dito. Kaso lang, this token, this is quid token, hindi siya pwedeng isell for reasons that I don't know. And ngayon, alam na natin yung reason. The, the reason why kung bakit hindi inaallow ng founders ng token na to, na isell yung token, I mean, i-resell yung token is that kasi <laughs> may backdoor code sila, guys, no? Pumalis sila. Iniwan nila yung project. Pabira. Tangin ang mga tao to. Ba't kaya nag-exist yung mga tao ganyan? Anyway. Oh, we went to zero! Yeah! Holy shit. Holy shit, pare. And bam! There we go, Squid Games. Sayonara, motherfucker. <laughs> Sayonara, motherfucker. Wait. Squid Games. Sayonara, motherfucker. Sayonara, motherfucker. Oh, good. Sayonara, motherfucker. Oh, good lord. Holy shit, you seen it live, baby. You seen it live, a goddamn rock pool, baby. Shit. Yeah. So nag mention, nag mention yung streamer na to, si Kuya nag mention siya ng rock pool. So basically, rock pool is that in crypto, guys, in crypto terms, sinasabi natin na rock pool kung iniwan na ng developers, ng founders, ang kanilang project. So alimbawa yung sa Squid Game, nakuha nila yung ilang trillion yun. So when it's 2.2 trillion, tapos 500,000 na lang nabilin. So, roughly, basta, roughly, ganun pa rin. 2.2 trillion pa rin. So, yun yung nakuha nila. Umalis na sila. Rug pool. 
So, as you, as you can see, ba't ko tinuturo siya? <laughs> tinuturo ko yung screen test po, Pira. As you can see right here, no? Grabe yung volume dito. Ito yung time na kung saan very hype yung stocks. Kaya maraming investors. Maraming naglalagay ng pera nila. And then, so, so lumaki nga yung market cap niya. Umabot siya ng 2 trillion. 2 trillion. Yeah, umabot siya ng 2 trillion. And then, biglang ganito. Holy, holy shit. Pare. Tangin ang candlestick yan, Chong. Well, since day, mag-ingay. A live rocking? Wow! Grabe no, grabe no. Like, na, nakuha ni Kuya na... I mean, I mean, think of it. The possibility na ma-live ma stream mo to on Twitch, yung yung actual rug pool ng isang token. Like, like damn. By the way, nice gaming chair, Kuya. Sana all secret love. <laughs> Mumurahin lang yung atong chop. <laughs> wow! Holy fucking moly, man. Holy fucking moly. That is a live yeah. rug pool. What the fuck happened here? What happened here, dude? Good God. Oh, good lord. Yeah, this is where you buy, boys. This is where you... Holy... Dang. You buy, chat. Look at this. Some fucking idiot bought 50k worth. They took that shit. Ooh, they won. So, so, so imagine guys, imagine guys, this, this is someone's wallet ID. Ito yung binili niya. So worth $50,000. That's around 2 million? Wait. 50,000 times 50. Yeah, that's around 2.5 million pesos. Yung amount na to. Imagine mo. Oh my god, holy shit, kasi kapambira mga scammer to. I Imagine ninyo, ito yung pera nilagay mo. After ilang seconds lang, nag-rug pull yung market na ininvestan mo. Wala na, ash na to. You can't take this fucking money back. Wanted Ooh. that 50k. Ooh, they wanted that shit, dog. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, so these transactions went through. Oh, He's went yeah, through. yeah. He's right. going through. That's Subscribe. fucked up. Oh, that's fucked. Subscribe here, guys, to Ernan and Jung's channel. Sana niya ako nanood na ito. So, yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is, chat. One. Short lift. Short fucking lift. All right now, um, I just want to talk. All right now, before I end this video, I just want to talk about. All right now, I just. All right, guys, before I end this video, I just want to talk about. All right now, before I end this video, I just want to talk about. All right, guys. So before I end this video, I just want to talk about this strategy no, na kung saan hindi niya dapat kinukumpol yung buong investment niyo sa isang investment plan. You know what I mean? Like, dapat fruit basket siya. What do I explain? Like, ah, shit. I forgot the writer for that thing, dude. But um, dapat sa isang... Hindi siya dapat sa isang basket lang. Dapat naka... Oh, yeah, diversified. That's a, that, that's a word. Fuck. Kailangan yung kailangan yung i-diversified yung portfolio niyo. Hindi lang dapat isang isang stock lang, isang token lang, isang isang negosyo lang yung yung ifo yung i-focus niyo. You know what I mean? Kasi let's say for instance, yung 50,000 dollars, yung 2.2 million pesos mo, yun na yung lifetime savings mo. Right? Y yun na yung yun na yung nakuha mong pension mo. Tapos, very hype stock. Nakita mo yung return. Kasi ganun ka aking pera, magiging billion yun. Kung legit yung squid na token, right? So, dun mo nilagay. Tapos, after ilang seconds, nawala na. Diba? So, saan tayo pupulutin yung parit chong? What's up, dude? Bro, mag-ingay. 
you know, at ito yung important, ito yung importansya guys, na, ito yung importansya ng diversification ng funds natin para if ever mag-fail yung isang project where we invest part of our money, then at least meron tayong ibang project na nilulook forward pa, di ba? Hindi yung wala na, ubos na lahat. So, saan tayo pagulong din yan? Ano yung kakainin natin? Ano yung igagasto na natin? Like, like you know, tsaka you get a deal the, the, the mental, the, the psychological effect niyan sa sa utak natin na, oh, kung sana di ko, di ko yun nilagay sa ganito, edi sana meron pa akong perang ganito, edi sana meron pa akong pampaaral ng anak ko, edi sana meron pa akong panggasto sa bahay, edi sana meron pa akong panglakwatsya ngayon, ba't ko ba nilagay dun lahat? You see, so yun lang guys, I just want to share that thing na importante tayong mag-diversify ng ating, ng ating investments. I'm not saying na you should diversify. I'm only saying na sa akin, in my behalf, in my own personal experience, I diversified my funds. And unlike those months na kung saan di ako nag-diversify ng funds, <laughs> Bitcoin. So dati kasi sa Bitcoin lang lahat ng ng investments ko, tapos nag-down yung Bitcoin ng 25%, imagine nyo yun. <laughs> One week, 25% pare. So, hindi ka makakikita nun. So, so, ayun. That was my calling point. Calling point pa. <laughs> that, that was my, like, um awakening. Kumbaga. So, after nun, nag-diversify na ako, invested to other altcoins na rin, maliban sa Bitcoin. So yeah, I guess that will be it for now. Thank you so much guys for watching. And sana sabay-bay niyo pa ako sa future journey ng buhay ko. By the way, I'm so sorry. I'm not using my DSLR to record this video. I am only using my webcam. It's not it's not a high-quality streaming web, webcam. Kaya ganito yung, kaya ganito yung um, quality ng videos video natin. It's a reaction video, by the way. Alright. Bella Tiao! Sayonara, motherfucker! <laughs>